As a security conscious admin, one of your jobs is keeping your company's data and your customers' data safe and secure. With businesses transitioning to remote work environments and cyber attacks on the rise, it's more important than ever to implement strong security measures that guard against unauthorized account access. In today's security landscape, usernames and passwords are too easily compromised by threats like phishing attacks, credential stuffing, and account takeovers. Used on their own, these types of credentials simply aren't enough to protect your Salesforce user accounts. What you really need is an extra layer of security for your login process, where users must confirm they are who they say they are before they can log in. Which is exactly what you get with multi-factor authentication, or MFA for short. Let's take a look at what MFA is and see how it's one of the easiest, most effective ways to boost login security. MFA is a strong authentication method that requires users to supply two or more pieces of evidence, or factors, to prove their identity before they can log in. The first factor is something a user knows, such as a username and password combination. Additional factors are verification methods that a user has in their possession. By tying logins to multiple, different types of factors, even if a hacker steals a user's password, the odds are very low that they can also guess or impersonate something like a secure authenticator app on a mobile device, or a physical security key. Salesforce products support several types of verification methods for MFA. The Salesforce Authenticator mobile app makes MFA easy for users, with notifications that show where login attempts are coming from, and the option to approve or deny logins with a tap. Third-party authenticator apps let users verify their identity with unique, temporary codes called a time-based, one-time password. Security keys are small, physical devices that are easy to use because there's nothing to install and no codes to enter. This is a great option for users who don't have mobile devices or can't bring cell phones onto the premises. And a device's built-in authenticator service lets users verify themselves with a fingerprint, iris, or facial recognition scan. This is another great option when mobile devices aren't an option. What about other verification methods, like email messages, phone calls, or SMS text messages? None of these options are supported for MFA because of their inherent susceptibility to attacks. For example, email credentials can be compromised, and text messages or phone calls can be intercepted by SIM card hijacking. Now that we understand what the multi-factor part of MFA means, let's see what the user authentication experience looks like when MFA is turned on. Logging in starts the same as it does now. A user enters their username and password as usual. Then the user quickly confirms their identity with a supported verification method of their choice. And that's it. They're logged in and ready to go. While it may take users a few extra seconds to log in with MFA, the additional verification step pays invaluable dividends by protecting your business and data and ensuring your customers' trust. Now is the time for MFA, and we've got your back with guidance and best practices to help you roll it out with minimal disruption. To learn more, check out these resources or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.